kid, when I was a kid, Tim Hortons was just a wall of smoke when you went inside. Um, everyone, because like when I went, when I was a kid, Tim Hortons still had like the walk-up counter. Yeah. You could get like your eggs and bacon breakfast late night from work, and they had like oh yeah. It's full I, I remember the plates and the cups and everything used to get at the porcelain stuff. They but. had these like spinner stools that were just these like brown spheres basically that would like spin around that you would go and sit at. And my dad would go play hockey, and we would go there, and he'd go play hockey in the morning usually because like that's when you get rig time for like beer league hockey. And then we would go to Tim Hortons for breakfast, and we would sit down, and I would just be in like a wall of cigarette smoke. Like just the entire <laughs> place was just constant cigarette smoke. Um, and I would get my like little hot chocolate and my chocolate dip down, and down with like a full like uh, some insane breakfast, and then we would go fuck off what we were doing that day. But that is my that is the, that is my Tim Hortons. So like <laughs> I'm not, a little past your Tim Hortons, not by much though. Yeah, it, when much. they had the smoking section, there was like a bubble inside the thing. It was literally it was a glass. Walls, yeah. you can see the people in there smoking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like a little, it's like a little terrarium. For, for, <laughs> it was for, hate for, like, to smoke on the door. Blue haired, yeah, blue haired people. <laughs> they wanted to sit there and suck out a cigarette in one drag. I was, uh, hey everybody, welcome oh, hey. to uh, welcome to Tim Hortons cast. This is uh, <laughs> we're just we're just joking that I was I was taking my Tim Hortons coffee off camera because it's very loud and red, and they're not getting any more free advertising out of me until I get that sponsorship money. Um, and it's uh, it's roll up the rim right now, which is a like prize draw thing where you would literally used to roll up the rim of your coffees. Now it's just done on an app, it's and it's funny. like so unsatisfying. It's just so I don't mind yeah. having my nostalgia mind, but like it's just do it right if you're gonna do it. It's terrible. So we're here to play the Doomed finally. The this doomed. has been this has been months in the in the coming, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, this is apocalyptic horror hunting, and it's a. It's a head-to-head -head slash cooperative because we might have to cooperate to we kill might, the bad guys. Because these bad guys are pretty tough. If you look at them; <laughs> they're scary. It's it's a grim, dark, basically like um, survival horror miniature game with a big emphasis on kit bashing. So if you're any of those like Blanchetsu, like hashtag twenty eight style groups, it's very much in that kind of same vein. Uh, you know, following along with things like um, the various like Mark Borg inspired games like Last War and Forbidden Psalm. Um, Lobster Pot, like all those great 28 games that are out there, um, uh, Turp 28, that kind of stuff. So we've basically gone and oh, we've done two different things. You've kit bashed. I kit bashed. I yep. did not kit bash. I went to my shockingly large pile of apocalyptic miniatures and went like, why have I so so why do why does my innate need for like perfectionism mean that I need to paint something new for every episode of everything I do? I could just take out any of these hundreds of miniatures you guys haven't seen in like eight years and play with them. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, and getting some new life into some old miniatures. But we've rolled up our warbands. Um, I have, my warband is called the House of uh, Doors, and it's led by the Pontius. Uh, there's also the Nursemaid, the Watcher, the Toymaker, and then Lies and Falsehood, which is my two anomalies. Um, they're like a weird warped collective with like a prophet and then you've got these like iron crusaders yeah these uh what are they called again i called my guys the reckoning the uh, reckoning like, there you go yeah ostensibly there might be good guys and bad guys there's no good guys and bad guys but we're, we're on a planet that is doomed we don't know which of the dooms is going to come though so there's six possible dooms and every game we play one of the dooms gets closer because we're playing under that doom yep until one of them gets to six points of doom at which point the end game begins in the campaign the closes. climax yeah. well like the sky darkens and rips so like the world literally ends in this campaign it's i i'm really excited about this because there's like a satisfying conclusion to your campaign mm -hmm. where the world's over at some point exactly it doesn't go on and on and on yeah. this is the end of it that's right we have 20 construction points to make our guys so what was yours called the what uh, was it it was the inheritor courts inheritor courts yep. yeah so you're like kind of knightly judges yeah, yeah. Like judges marshals sheriffs we're kind of like the law and order so you're yeah i was gonna say you're trying you're still kind of opposing the dooms we're like worshiping the dooms we're like trying to trying to like like be like all of my weird um leader ambitions are things like reverence um, have line of sight to a horror that kills two models during a turn. So I want to I watch it kill stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, observations. Touch three different horrors. I need to get into base contact with three different horrors over the course of the campaign. Uh, loyalty. Retire five models when killed. I can't reuse the same models when they die. Um, exorcism. Touch a horror while a follower kills it, which is kind of cool. And then terror. Kill a horror by the end of round two. So I mean, one of mine is just hardship. Lose five followers during a game. Oh. <laughs> we are we are not well, good people. Well, one of my ambitions is uh, slaughter, wipe out the entire enemy warband in a single battle. So hey, you know if you want to work together on this, we I think can, I think we, we can do this for each other. I we generated this. We did the first episode of Doomed. Um, so we're gonna basically show you the table. We'll show you the mission. Uh, we've already pre-generated our, our horror and our conflict, 
And the horror we got is called what? Because you brought the horror conflict for the first time. Yes, uh, the Cataphractal. The Cataphractal. And it's the Worshippers is the conflict. Right. So not only is the Cataphractal's little nexus is going to be on the board, there's also going to be like weird cultists that are yep. worshipping it and trying to like put it back together and you convert all of these. All right, so we'll show you the table, we'll show you the models, and we'll get this going. All right, so here's our two warbands. So here we have the House of Doors, uh, led by the Pontius. Now, his one of his things is he's a visionary. Uh, he's a quality of 3+, plus, which means he passes any action test on a 3+. Plus. Um, but he has uh, a special skill called a cloak. He can disappear under his cloak after the end of his activation. He gets plus one to his save throws. So he's a two plus quality check against damage when he's um, already been activated. Then we have the nursemaid right here. She is a keeper um, and her jam is she's quality four plus. She has revive. Uh, any ally at the end of a turn touching her recovers automatically. She just like gets them back on their feet. And then she's got claws. So she has a melee times two, uh, melee two times one damage um, claw. We have the um, Watcher right here saying, shh, he's a seer. He only has a quality of five plus, but he has Link, a free move to a friend in line of sight at the end of a turn. So he can make other people push around. And then he's armed with a toxic blade because he likes to stab people. And then finally in the back here, the toy maker, my little engineer. Um, his jam is he's precise, so he can always reroll a uh, die when he is making range attacks. He only has a pistol, but he's quality four plus, um, And he has a free shot at the end of his activation with the pistol as a free action. So uh, the two last models are lies and falsehoods, my two anomalies. They're just weird energy anomalies. Um, they have a quality of five plus and they have an ability called smite. So as an action, an enemy unit has to, they basically look at an enemy unit and they make a roll, which means they have to make a quality check. If they pass, you take that much damage. If they fail, they take that much damage. <laughs> so they're kind of like bombs. Like I'm not, I'm not expecting them to survive. Basically, the toy maker is like deactivating their containment fields when you're nearby. Oh, that's um, awesome! And it's just line of sight, so it could be anywhere. He just he just like sets them off at you. But if I don't roll well, it's a problem. Um, and uh, there's two of them, so they're probably not going to live through every game. But they'll be my most rehired um, rehired dudes, I think. So what do you got in yours? What did you bring in your uh, your what call it? Uh, inheritor um, quartz. So it's called the reckoning. We'll start off with my judge at a quality three, this guy right here. He's armed with a flail, as you can see there. Sure is. Uh, he has the ability called, sorry, he's tough as well. Uh, he's condemn. At the end of a unit's turn, target an enemy, an enemy it can see. All readied allies can make a free attack on the targeted enemy. So he's like, that guy there. <laughs> just, is, just basically jump on this guy. Yep, exactly. We have uh, my paragon over here. He's called tank you. You know, tank. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. It works. Uh, he is uh, tough and a quality four. He has a shield and a pole arm. And he has a guardian. Attack at quality two versus enemies that are touching an ally. Mm. So he's pretty good at the close. Uh, we have our next two guys over here. We have uh, Blitz and Slade, the two Legionnaires with mm -hmm. repeaters. Uh, they have the loyal shoot ability, which is uh, shoot at quality three when it can see the warband leader. Nice. And if they're readied with the repeaters, they get two attacks instead of just one. And then we have the Herald, this guy over here, the Preacher. Uh, he has quality five. Uh, he has a blaster. And at the end of this turn, an ally it can see makes a free attack, free fight or recovery action. Oh, nice. So okay. these, are, these guys are pretty hitty. Yeah, they're hitty, hitty, hitty. So um, my equipment piece, I have my boss here, is called the Lethal Probe. Uh, it's this big hook pull arm there. Um, it's pretty dangerous. It's melee one with times three damage, but it's agony times two versus downed models. So if he goes after somebody who's already downed, it is bad news bears. Uh, and he's got a pistol as well. So yeah, I got lots of pistols. The lies and falsehood both have their energy blasts. And then I've got claws on the, um, the nursemaid. Forgot to mention, these are like an eclectic mix of miniatures. So I have some Dark Age minis here. Uh, it's a Father Crowan and a Hoodoo as my two um, first models. And then these are Eden miniatures. Uh, and these are 3D prints for Warcaster. You got some Minoth miniatures, old Minoth yep, miniatures. All from, Minoth um, miniatures there. And, and then also have the Chronopia guys. Yeah, right firstborn Chronopia models from Heartbreaker. This is some blast from the past here. We have, we have a very eclectic bunch of models um, in this, uh, this selection of, uh, of, of doomed. So now as we set off to uh, have our first encounter, we've basically found that we're fighting a horror called a cataphractal, which is this huge robot thing in the back. So why don't you explain what it does? Okay, so the cataphractal is nimble with a quality three plus. It has an infinity blade at uh, melee two times five. Oof. I know, right? Uh, the sight projector, uh, R1 times five. So when it targets, roll a D6 on the trauma table instead of the shock table. <laughs> you just go right to damage. Oh That's yeah. Amazing. It's fantastic. And some of these traumas can like, the victim makes a range attack against the nearest visible friendly unit. Yeah, as well. it's it a psychic attack. It like freaks you out. 
Yep, and it also has hostility reprimand system. When attack against the unit fails to wound them, the attacker rolls a d6 and consults the trauma table. Oh so, no! Yeah, so even if you don't wound them, you go yeah, right back to the trauma table. Back at you? Holy crap. Oh yeah. And the nexuses are fragments of the horror bending beneath space just within our perception. And that's these cogs and stuff, these like weird dimensional yep. cogs. Uh, they save on a quality of plus four and are destroyed if wounded. Uh, the effects of the nexuses, uh, the unit that destroyed the nexus rolls D6 on the trauma table. So when you destroy them, you have to roll anyway. Uh, both remaining nexuses make a free move toward the horror. And the unit that destroyed the nexus rolls D6 on the trauma table. Any units that can see the remaining nexus take one damage. And the unit that destroyed the Nexus rolls D6 on the trauma table twice, keeping the highest result. Okay, so, so as you kill one, as you kill two, as you, you kill, kill three, these, these effects basically unlock. Yep. And they're, they're basically deployed evenly around the board, and they have a quality of four plus, but if you wound them at all, they're destroyed. Mm -hmm. And then we rolled for our conflict. This is kind of like the mission. So this is the horror that's wandering around. The conflict is a separate mission that can also be accomplished. And what's that? Uh, the worshippers. Uh, this horror has attracted uh, even more followers than normal. Uh, let's see here. So deployment for this mission is going to be warbands deploy from opposite board edges. Deploy five horror worshippers evenly around the horror or in the center of the board if more suitable. Special, the horror worshippers are unbound. It means they run towards us to try and fight. Um, and they treat warbands as enemies. Uh, horrors and minions ignore the horror worshippers, so like the bad guy won't fight them. And then they are nimble, quality five plus with fervent fists. It's uh, melee two times one damage. Um, and then times two damage if they can see the horror. A uh, hopeless prayer, horror worshippers can only recover if they can see the horror. Basically, they freak out if he goes away. And the objective is at the end of the third round, the warband that's taken up the most worshippers wins the game for the, for the conflict. There's an optional twist, faith power. The horror gains benefits depending on the number of worshippers that can see. Uh, it can either make a free action immediately, make a free action at the end of the turn, or make a free action immediately uh, and at the end of its turn. So if it can see one, two, or three guys, then it gets more faith. And the rewards for for doing this mission are you get a battle prayer. The next ally activated after this unit performs a free action at the start of their turn, so it's one point. Uh, and you can also buy worshippers now. You can basically just get worshippers and a faith conduit as like new actions and stuff. All right, so there it is. We got our conflict, we got our horror. All right, so before we deploy, we have to find out what our before the battle doom in force is going to be. So we have to roll d6. I roll four. It's oblivion. So the oblivion doom has now kicked off. We have to fill in a circle of the oblivion doom and we'll be fighting under that sign for the game. Uh, each warband then separately rolls a d6 to select the doom track number on its events table. So uh, we roll a separate one. So you roll a d6 and I roll a d6 and see what effect is applied by the doom table. I get a five, you get a two. two. Starting at zero for the doom level, uh, you get a f two and I get a five. Um, so that means that under oblivion, you've got visions of hope. For a brief moment, the terror of reality appears to lift. In the next battle, horrors and minions only perform two actions in the first turn. Uh, and then for mine, it's Zabotage, a settlement that supports your faction, has had a vital supply line cut by those that wish to hurry along their demise. For the next battle, your leader cannot buy any equipment that they used in the previous battle. Damn it. Played any battles yet, so I'm not super worried about that. That seems like it's going to be fine. Um, so now we've set up what our doom is. We've determined our scenario, so we've already found out what our... Um, our, our horror and our uh, conflict are going to be. We first started making our warbands, um, and then we're not at a warband climax yet. Uh, we're not the Doom climax either. Warbands are assembled. We recruit followers and gear using the points equal to the leader's renown from their faction list. Any rewards earned from defeating horrors winning conflicts. We've already done that. And then set up and play, play the battle, um, and we get to throw down. Women is done for the Cataphractal. It's in the center of the table, uh, as per its like description. And then its three nexuses are evenly spaced along the midline. Its worshippers are all evenly circled around it. Now, Doomed uses an interesting deployment thing where you actually just move on from the board edge during the first turn. You actually go onto the table during turn one. And its turn structure is such that you have three actions per model plus a free move. You have to roll your quality to do any actions that you want to take. And after you're done activating a model, um, you have to activate one of the unbound models on the table and do something with it as well. It's you go, a monster goes, uh, and then your opponent gets to go, your opponent gets to pick a monster to go, and back and forth. At the end of the turn, we'll roll a reaction for the, uh, the horror to see what it does. It might do some power move. And then we uh, complete the game when either one side has wiped out uh, sorry, if we complete both the conflict and the horror, we might not have both in any given game. We do. When a model's exhausted, it's going to get a black token. I've got some white tokens here for the, um, the NPCs, and we'll put those in the middle so we can both place them. And it's turn one. I'll have to see who has the initiative for the first round. I got a five. Yeah, three. three. All right, so I'll go first. And this is, there's no measuring. You can cap moves at six inches if you want, but you basically just place the model where you want it to be and then move it. 
Um, and that's what we're going to start off by doing here because I'd like to kill some dudes. So I'm going to have my um, toy maker go. He's going to arrive here. And when you make a move, you basically move until you hit an obstruction and stop or have to do a different type of move, like a climb or a walk or something like that. Oh, uh, you know, I'll put him here actually. So my first move, I'm just going to use my free move to move up to this ladder. End of my three action, or sorry, my first of my three actual actions, I'm going to do a climb up the ladder and pass my quality test. So now I'm up top here. And my third one, I'm gonna make a range attack with my pistol into this little worshiper. My second actual action, my third um, like action for the round. Uh, and I think I have a quality of four plus and a pistol gets one range attack. So they're, they're, these are basically just illustrating all the different action types you can take. So move, I've done basically two moves for the turn so far. Now I'm gonna make a shoot attack. Other actions you can take could be special actions that are based on your like abilities and also melee attacks. Uh, in this case though, I'm going to take a shot. My quality is four plus, but the engineer has the precise rule so he can can re-roll quality tests when shooting. And I land it, and now it's only one damage, so that um, worshiper has to make a single save on its quality of five plus. Nope. nope. So he's gonna have to make a shock test now. The shock table, 2D6. it's 2d6. Yeah, so 2d6, right. let's see what you roll. An eight. It is fight back. Make a free attack targeting the attack. Any kind of range weapon? No range weapons. Well then he just doesn't do it. <laughs> We're gonna do that again, because he failed his save but didn't fail his shock test. And I hit again, so another uh, quality check of five plus. Uh, nope. nope, and then 2d6 on the table. A seven? Seven oh, effects. All right, so he goes down. Last action, but pistols give you a free action at the end of your activation to shoot one more time. So I'm mm. gonna take a single more shot and do him on a four. And hit. Quality check, Save passes it. this time. My activation, uh, so then my next activation, I'm going to activate one of these minions. Uh, he's gonna move to here. Towards the ah, okay, so I'm gonna use this guy then. He's gonna come down for his first move because he has to go towards the nearest non-visible enemy if he can. And he's the furthest away. So he comes down the hill as his first move because that's the first type of move. It'd be like a scramble. Uh, second move is on a five plus. He does. He's gonna come ripping over here to this ladder. Ha! And then third action. Oh, he only gets two actions this turn. So he's done. Yep. Uh, I get an exhausted marker for my watcher and then a exhausted marker for this. Minion. What are you? One of my Legionnaires on. Gonna come over to here. In the cover, yeah. In the cover, so you can just see that one uh, worshiper there. Go for it. He's gonna take a shot. Do but it. since he's not ready, he only gets one shot. Okay. He's quality five. Hits. Hits. And then it's quality hit. five save. Fails. Um, so shock test. Box guy. There's, no, there's, there's, no there's nobody there can do it. Yeah. There's nobody can actually see him, so you can go again. All right. Quality five. Nope, he stays where he is. Okay, so that was well, your free move, then you took a shot. That was your second action. You have one more action. That was my third action, try to move again. Yeah, but the first here. move is free. First move is free? Yeah. Oh, Remember okay. You get, a, you get a free move followed by three actions. All right, well, try to move again. Nope, yeah. stays. Exhausted, and you get to pick one of the uh, minions to go. Uh, so you pick with... someone that can't see you, then they come towards me instead, right? Let's so go free with... move. This guy here. Mm -hmm. So free move. Um, would you just bump into his guy and stop? I think you would just go towards like a window or something over mm -hmm. here instead. Okay. Yep. Over to here. And then he's going to run towards the ladder. Okay. So we're on a quality of five. Nope. Nope. And then Stays one more. Because the first move is free. Is it? Okay. And you have two actions. No. Back to me. Uh, well, we're going to try and blow up this uh, horror. So we're going to drop a <laughs> anomaly right here, the free move, and it's going to move into cover. It's going to try and blast this little guy as an action on a five plus. All right. Do it. Nope. So he's going to take three damage. He's going to make three five plus quality saves. Uh, he fails them, so he has to make a shock test and rolls an eight. I don't have an attacker, so I can't I can't attack it. <laughs> um, so then I go again. My second action on a five plus, I miss. I take two damage, so two five plus quality saves. He fails them both and rolls an eight again, but no yep. one's attacking me. And then last one, come on, five plus. Nope, just can't hit this thing. Uh, it rolls a six. Uh, panic. Uh, attack the nearest target, friend or foe. Yeah, hey, I get to shoot it again. One more time. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that guy's going to take five saves because it's five damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it's what it's a test that I've rolled the damage for. They're just skitzing it. Yep. All right. Now you get to roll your shock, shock. test. Four. Four. I get a free mover attack action again. Uh, I'll take a move this time. <sighs> No, I attack it. Again. Keep going. Just keep lasering. Laser from the sky. No, I nope. take three damage again. Uh, I fail, and 
And four? Four. Uh, attacker gets a free move or attack. No, I, I'm not the... Oh, I am the attacker. Oh, shit. Yep. I just do it again. Okay. Wait, no, I can't because nothing's attacking me. So I just stay here. All these things were just going to chain forever if we don't make a logical stop to this. I've had like five actions trying to do this. This thing is just unstably like like glitching out. Done. <laughs> and then I'm going to activate uh, one of these guys. I'll use the guy that didn't, uh, didn't go yet. He's just going to move to here as his free move. And then he's going to move on a five plus to cover again. Yeah, he is. Nice. Over there. And then one more, he's going to move to the cover right in front of you. Yep. Yep. Zoom. Me, will you? And then he's <laughs> yeah. activated now, so it's back to you. All right. right. I'm going to bring my Paragon on. It's right here. Right here, and he's just going to... Ah, like like <laughs> let's do this. Guy. So you're free move into melee, and now you get to make fight actions if you want. One die on a four plus, and then times two damage. Nope. Yeah, then it's twice per okay. turn. All right, let's do this. Oh, I couldn't have done any. Oh, no, actually, it's not It's not a rage attack. It's, it's free. Actually, it's free, yeah. It's, it's, it's free actions, not free. Right? It's just, it's just a, it's his native action, so I could actually do this more than once. I think I did one extra pistol shot than I should have, though. Uh, so you get two melee attacks. All right. Hit with that one. Ooh, and it's nice. times two damage. Times two damage. Uh, he that saves both. both. He's just <laughs>, laughs. Laughs and cultist. All right. That's uh, that guy done. And then you get to activate a bad guy model. Orgo? Yeah. I'm into it. All right. Uh, I think the horror just charges your guy he sees right now. So remember, there. he can see cultists right now, so he gets his faith abilities. What are his faith abilities? Free? He can do all three of his free things from the cultists. So you can make a free move action, so two yep. free move actions, and then it'll be one he does each action, right? So right now he can do the first one. Yep. So he's going to move into melee with my, my anomaly. Boom. Is he going to make a swing? All right, with his quality three plus. Swing. Quality three plus with his infinity blade of M2 times five. All right, hit it. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, you only needed one die. One That's die. Okay. <laughs> it's it oh, times, it's times five is the di Oh, no, it is oh, M2. M2. Oh, yep. you're right, you're right. And then it's five saves. Five, five plus saves. Oh, no, I did not. And then I got to roll on the shock table. What happens to me? A nine. Free move. Okay. Free move away from him. I'm going to roll my five plus. I do. I'm going to go way the hell over here. Bye. <laughs> one of two because it's only two for him this turn, but he does get a free one if he can see more than one model. So he can see another cultist over here. Yep. So he'll get whatever's next, followed by, I guess, a free attack. Eight. Start of his turn, he can do all three of these things then. So he's done basically his free move. He's done a stab. So he has one regular action left, left. plus his, his worshiper's action. Okay. Uh, then he's going to just chase try this move, guy. Chase the guy. All right. Three plus. Three plus. He yep. does. <laughs> More attack. Okay, can so I do, do that? two melee attacks. Yep, you can do two melee attacks per turn. Okay, so that is two actions he had. It makes a free action melee then this turn. Yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, three plus, okay. they both hit. And then it's times five damage. Yeah. Five plus saves. Uh, we almost, but no. And then what happens? An eight. Eight. Uh, fight back. Make a free attack targeting your attacker. All right. You can't fight back, but you do get a free melee action at the end of this. And I'm going to rule that free actions can go over the limit of actions per turn. So go for it and say you get to stab. All right. Err on the side of you being crazy powerful. So stab. it hits. I got to make a times five damage thing again. I fail. <laughs> and then what is my 2d6 roll on the shock table? A five. Five? Uh, thrown. Move directly away from the attacker. This <laughs> ah! <laughs> just, just hucks me over here. Activated. We're going to arrive with the um, keeper, which is the nursemaid, and she's going to move. Uh, she's going to move up to this pallet because I can't go in a straight line and hit the nexus, which is what I want to do. And we want to get away from this thing. Then we're going to make another move on a four and fail because I can't see my warband leader. Uh, second action, we're going to move over to here. And then third action, we're going to melee this next laws. Uh, neither one hits. All right, so she's activated out, and then I get to pick a new uh, baddie to go. One left. He's going to end up moving around the corner. He has to go, uh, first, he's going in a straight line here, actually, for free. Then he'd go in a straight line on a 5+, plus to go towards the ladder, so you can see somebody. Nope. And then the last one. Bad guys are now gone. Uh, except for, sorry, this guy could activate to make a recovery roll. I'm bringing my next Legionnaire on. He's going to go up to cover here. There's free action, yeah. Sure he's facing. There we go. He's facing the right way. <laughs> I'm going to try shooting when the Nexus is here. Go for it. So looking for a five plus on the quality check. Nope. Nope. Uh, second action. Uh, he is going to... He can't shoot again. Can't shoot again. I'm going to yep. run to cover over here. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. he got it. Yep. And then third action. Um, he's just going to go up to the next corner. Peek here. up. Let's see Every roll for this guy, otherwise he doesn't get to do anything, so it's a five plus. He does, he, he stands, stands up. up. There we go. Now he has another action left. There, so he's gonna run towards the um, 
stairs. On a five plus. Nope, just stands there. Well, I think it's time to make the stabs. So we're going to arrive with, oh, wait. And they can only recover if they can see the horn. So we're gonna come in with the boss actually. Um, he's gonna use his free move to walk over to this guy. A lethal probe, a probulator. Uh, it's ranged one times one. I oh, no, sorry, it's uh, melee one times three damage. That hits. And so it's gonna be three saves on fives. Uh, nope. Some fails, shock test, see what happens. Do, 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 do. Oh, you fail. And uh, uh, six, what does that do? What is that? Oh, wait, six? Oh, that was my saves, wasn't it? Yeah, that was your saves. Yeah. Now it's 2d6 Different. for the table. A six. Panics and fights back on a five. Yep. Fever and fists. Uh, is it two attacks or one? Two attacks to the fists. Nothing. Not a one. Okay, well, my third action, I'm going to fight him again. On a three. I sure do. So another times two damage. No, times three damage. He fails. And his 2d6 roll. Six. Six again. He fights back again. Yep. On a five. This is one die. Oh, oh one he's, he's 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 yep. so, yep. so it hits. Hits. And, and it's what's one. my save? One save. Three fine. plus. I'm fine. I have one move left. I'm going to make a move over to this cover. Uh, I'm going to fail because you are in base contact with me. I get a free pistol shot, but I'm engaged, so I can't take it. There's no minions left to go, so it's back to you. All right. Bring the Herald on board. Go up to this cover again. He has a blaster. Uh, he is going to shoot. He's It's uh, R2 times one at the uh, target up here. He has quality five. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Hit, one hit. And let's make a four plus save. It passes. It passes. against giant steel cogs. Let's <laughs> see if it's going very well. <laughs> not, not working that well. Uh, then he's just going to duck behind cover, I think. Okay, on a five. Yep. Okay. Uh, no means to go yet again. So we're going to go with my other anomaly. It's just gonna arrive and like zip into this window. It's gonna try and blast that cog on a five with its unboundness. Nope, it takes three damage and fails its saves and rolls snake eyes and dies. It just explodes. <laughs> Simple, back to you. <laughs> All right, uh, leader's gonna go. Okay. And he's just gonna go for it. He's gonna go take his reaction, move yeah, right up. In. Do, 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 do. He has a flail. Weapon. M2, but times one damage. Hits. One hits. And then it's two damage. Sure. No, times one, one damage. One damage, yep. Four plus. No, it fails. Hey, so hey. It's wounded, it's gone. Nexus effect kicks off for this guy. What happens when the first Nexus dies? Oh, let's make a free move toward the horror. So the, both Nexus make a free move towards the horror. So that's going to be on a four plus. It's going to get to go over to here. And just hop over this. The other one in the middle is going to have to come around to get line of sight. It's going to fail. It's going to stay where it is. And then you have to roll on the trauma table. Trauma. It's not going to be good. Okay. It exploded. It. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Uh, the victim makes a free move toward the horror as far as possible, even if this results in damage to the unit. So if I was on top of the building, I would just jump off. Yeah. So you're going so. to rip over here. Yeah. So it's a straight line. So you'd probably stop. He won't go that far. You'd stop like right there. Here? Okay. Yeah. You're generous with uh, short moves and more constricted with long moves. So like if you're touching this, obviously it would stop you. Uh, oh no, I've still got my, my yeah. guy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> my last guy with his venom blade. Um, he's not happy to be here, but he'll accept it. He's going to move to here. And he's going to squeeze between his friends to come fight this fool with his venom blade. So he's got an M1, but times three damage with his venom blade. He hits. So that's three damage into the uh, witness there. Three damage into that guy. Three damage into that guy. Doesn't Whoa. pass. And then it's trauma roll for him or shock roll. Give me a seven. Ten, nine. Ten. Free move action. What direction? Is it this away from me? Yeah, it's that guy. I'm assuming it's just away or somewhere else. Okay, so he has to make a roll with a minus one because he's in melee. He does. Yeah. He just goes ripping over here. Ah! Well, then I will follow up. Uh, I get plus one of my move rolls because I can see my boss. Four plus. I got it. And then I get to try and strike again. And I will. Um, that's going to be on a five. Attack for the round. No, nope. it's all done. So that is, I think, turn one complete. So we're getting dicey. Turn two. Okay. All the exhaustion markers. So nobody's been activated now. This is initiative. And also one of my anomalies has exploded. <laughs> 
Uh, I get to go first again. I think I start with my boss. Uh, he's gonna try and stab this worshiper. Hit him on a three plus with my big stabbing stick, the lethal probe. I sure do. It's times three damage. He goes down and what's his shock roll? Five. Five. Uh, throw, move directly away from the attacker. Well, he's gonna go over here and touch this building. I take my free move and head over here. Then I'm gonna take a second move. So that was one action to fight, a free move, uh, and then we're gonna move again on a three. I do into melee, because I need to touch this guy. So now touch yep. this horror, that's all I needed to do. Uh, and then we'll stab him with my second attack. Three plus. I got it. So three times damage. Well, three. Oh, that's some two, so it's gonna take damage. What, roll on the shock roll. Don't hit me back, don't hit me back, don't hit me back, don't hit me back. Don't a 10, what's, what's 10? Uh, last gas, perform a free action. So my guy makes great free action. <laughs> I, I get to perform you? a free action or he gets to perform a free it action? It just says uh, perform a free action. Free so action, you can move or fight, whatever you want to do with him. I'm probably gonna fight. That makes sense. Yep. You know, why not? He is quality uh, three, M2 times five. Okay. One mm -hmm. hit, five damage. All right, five, three plus saves. We can do this. Oh no. No. Uh, <laughs> oh no. And roll on the shock table for me. A six. Six. Panic, attack the nearest target, friend or foe. Oh, hit, him, attack hit, him, hit him back again. He's gonna have a big fight here. I'm in. End of my activation, so he's all done. And then I get to activate somebody. I'm just gonna activate this guy and get this over with. Cloak activated now. I am exhausted. I have a two plus save. Basically, I'm phasing out because I've. this is why I wanted to go first so that my save would get better. So freeze, you hit me. Hit me and one, it's yep. five damage on twos. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> so two ones. Uh, roll on the shock table for me. Four. Four. Opportunity, the attacker gets a free move or attack. All right, you can hit me again if it wants. Absolutely. One hits, hit. two plus. I can't fill all of these. I passed this time. It's one to attack, uh, then it uses its opportunity to attack again. Yep. And then it's got two actions left. What do you want to do with them? Uh, let's move, let's free move action. Move okay. towards his next is over so here. So it's on a four plus because you have to break off from me. Yeah. Nope. 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 All right. That's it. All right. And it's over to you. That was my first activation. All right. Well, let's go. He's readied. His polearm becomes uh, two attacks at this point in time. Uh, sorry, damage is times two. Ooh, there so still one attack. Still, still one attack times two. two. So four is to hit. Hits. Hit. And then it's going to be four damage. Four damage. On fives for that worshiper. Nope. Shock mm -hmm. test. Ten. Ooh, ten. Uh, perform a free action. It fights back on a five. Two dice, yeah, it still hits. Still hits, didn't matter, yeah. And then one damage, one damage or two? Uh, One damage. Didn't matter. Passed, yeah. Attack action. Second halberd attack. Yep. Miss. He's not gonna bother doing any other actions. Ah, I'm doing any actions. Okay. He'll just fight back. Yep, so roll okay. two dice. Two dice on fives, his fists, nope. He tries again, nope. He runs away, no, uh, no, he stays there. It's fine. Over to me. All right, Anomaly, I don't like you and you don't like me. You're gonna move over to here so you can see this thing. And you're gonna try and not explode yourself this time on a five. No, you take two damage. You make a save and then you roll a shock test. What's a five? Uh, throw and move directly away from the attacker. There is no attack. Attacker, yes. so right. <laughs> this is the weird, this thing has the weirdest interaction. All right, I can do this as many times as I want because it's not actually a range attack. It's just me like turning, unleashing my inner ability. I hit this time for five damage. So make five four plus things oh. that thing. Yeah, I don't yeah. happens when the second of the Nexuses dies. What does he do? So he has to make a roll oh, on the trauma oh. table and anybody who can see the last cog, right which here. is right here. So all of these take one damage. All right, so trauma table first. Two. Move away from the the horror. Oh, sorry, that's the horror. Is it trauma or is it? Trauma, uh, the trauma table. No, trauma, yeah, trauma table. Yep. The victim makes a free move away from the horror as far as possible, even if this results in damaging the units. <laughs> so, ah! <laughs> bye. Everybody makes a save. Uh, so we'll, I'll start up here with my guys, four plus. Nope, he's gonna take a wound. Oh wait, he's in cover. Not a range attack, so it won't actually do anything. So he's gonna have to make a roll on the trauma table. Five. Ah! <laughs> it just explodes in a light. All right, what happens to him? Yeah, I'm gonna make a quality test just to make sure I land okay. I'm fine. The other model I can see over here is him. So he has to make a save on a four, or five, sorry. No, he fails two. Uh, so he rolls a nine. Yep. Free move. All right, so I have to break off on a six because I'm in melee. Nope. So he's just gonna stay where he is. Uh, then you do yours, and then we'll do the okay. trooper. The we'll do my uh, leader. Looking for three plus. Three plus. Yeah, he's, he's fine. 
Uh, he is a five plus. Cover sits a four plus. Four plus? True. Well, it's not a shooting attack, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, go for it. Okay. And then that's all my guys I can see, I think. All yep. right, so worshiper number one on a five. He passes. Worshiper number two that's fighting my guy. He passes. Worshiper number three. He fails. Okay. So he gets a seven. He's downed. Ugh. This one also fails and rolls a six. He's going to attack the nearest target friend or foe, which would be me. Uh, he'd have to do it in melee, though. He can't move, so he yep. just stands there. Looks like that for that action. Uh, so he is now exhausted. And we have to actually pick a bad guy to go. I pick this guy. And he's coming after you because he can't see my guy anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Followed by an attack on fives. Hits you. Hits. One save, three plus. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. On the trauma table. Shock uh -oh. table, sorry. On a five. five. Throw, move directly away from the attacker. So he just goes yeah. into the wall. Uh, and then he'll move in again on a five. Nope, move in again on a... Nope, he's done. I'm gonna activate my Legionnaire over here as a free move, up to the corner here. And I'm gonna shoot, since I can see my leader, I got a quality of three shoot on this guy here. Okay, into that last, uh, last standing guy. worshiper. Oops, misses, Two. behind cover again. Nope, he stays just, right where he is. He's, he's real like happy where he is. On a hill. All right, uh, and then you get to do one of the worshippers. Let's do this worshiper here. Okay. Uh, charge the nearest enemy. It's gonna be me. Go for it. Vroom. And it's two yeah. attacks on fives with his first action. Oof. Both hit. Got it. Uh, it's only one damage though on a five. Nope. And the trauma table or the shock table. A nine. Uh, crawl. Make a free move. All right. Well, let's try and break off on a six. We don't. Second attack. This guy's dropping rocks <laughs> on a five. Nope. And then I get on the trauma table. An eight. An eight is fight back. Make a free attack targeting your attacker. Hell yeah, we will. M1, so five plus quality with my toxic blade. I miss. It's all finished. Okay. Uh, I am then going to go with my poor uh, watcher. He's going to walk over to here. And he's going to shoot a pistol into the guy that's already attacked you. Precise. Precise. Uh, precise. Wait, three roll. Nope. And then he's going to uh, use his end of activation free shot, I think. Yeah, to shoot it again. No. Nope. No. No. It's just totally incompetent. Let's <laughs> a down guy and see if he stands up on a five plus. Recover. He does. Hey, he recovers hey. for one. Uh, he uses free action to move into me, I guess, for two. And then for three, he'll attack me. Sorry, for two, he'll attack me on five. So you want to roll for it? Sure. A one. one. And then... I fail. From the table, 10. 10, uh, last guess, perform a free action. I will fight back on a five. No, no. <laughs> I think it's uh, one more attack action. No, no. leader? Yeah, I'm gonna come give you a hand. You, uh, I wanna try to attack the Nexus. If you break the Nexus, I we can kill this I'm gonna break the Nexus. At that tracks. Okay, so it's M2 times one, okay. flail. Smash the last Nexus. You will have accomplished the... <laughs> Nexus part of this then. Uh, yep. One. So one hit. One damage. Four plus. No, it passes. Let's try again. Try again. Both hit. And it saves again. I'll fight back. You're not engaged. So if you have a pistol or something, you can still fire I have too. no pistol. Okay. So I moved to have two attack actions. I'm, uh, I'm done with him. You have one action left. Do I? Because you free move, two attack actions, and then you have your third action. I think it's got three actions. Free move, and yep. then three actions. Okay. Um, he's going to stay where he is, I think. You're right, you do only have three actions. It's it's free in that you don't roll to see if it happens or not. That's all. Okay, so yeah. Three three total actions, not a free move. It's a, a move that automatically passes. Noted for next game. So you get to pick a guy to go. There's one worshiper over here left fighting me. Yep, it would be that person there. Start stabbing. On five. Stabby. Nothing. Try and same attack. Hits. One. All right, and I'm gonna make a save on a five. Nope, and then what is, come on, roll high again. Hit him back. Uh, so I'm down. Seven. That's not good. Down, but at least you're out of attacks. Okay, well, I guess we go with the nursemaid then. Uh, auto passing my first one, I'm gonna move to here. Uh, then I'm gonna roll for my second one and fail, even with the plus one for my boss. I'll roll for my third one. I do, and I get into melee with my friend. I hit my activation, he automatically stands up because I shoot him full of leeches and cocaine. I'm tapped, I think, because I'm down a model, so it's just you left. 
Can I shoot in the combat with my guy standing there? He's not in combat because that thing's not a. Uh, it's not a model. Right. The Nexus just has a quality save. That's it. Okay. So you can shoot him. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot him with this guy with the blaster. Go so I think it. it's uh, two times one. Two dice times one. Yep. Nope. You need fours. I need fives. <laughs> right. Well, uh, anything else he wants to do? He has two actions left. Uh, he's just gonna take his free move action um, up to the corner up here. Yeah, the one that auto passes right here. There's automatic action. Maybe yep. we'll call it. And then that one. Uh, he will. Yeah, just stay where he is for now, I think. Okay. Turn. I got uh, one except more you have one, yeah, one more guy, one guy back here. Um, let's see here. The combat with that guy, because you can, because the only time you can't shoot is if you're in contact with a standing enemy. Two attack dice, look for fives. Got, got one. One, one right, damage. So five of save. Nope. And then shock test on a five. Okay. So you push him away. <laughs> right. That was a strong crossbow bolt. If it's straight across. I mean, you could cap it at six if you want it's for that. Six, yeah. That's up to you. Yeah. That's great. I mean, like low gravity infinity <laughs> flying across the tables here. Part of the rules of this book are spirit of collaboration, right? We're collaborating to see what happens. Um, I think we're done. Round two. Yeah. So it's round three. Uh, we, had, we forgot to roll at the end of the turn last turn to oh. see what he does. So we have to roll now to see what he does. Okay. And you roll a six. Each Nexus oh. explodes. So, uh, right here against me. Whoopsie. <laughs> it's, uh, whoa. it's only one on a quality four, but it's times five damage. So, let's see what happens. It, it activates cogs. What did it do last turn? Let's roll to see what it did for turn one. Let's see if it's interesting. Three. Three. Actually, for turn one, I think everything, all the Nexus moved towards the horde, remember? No, that was when you blew them up. Oh, moved them up. Yeah, oh. Is, we still forgot to roll at the end of every turn. Okay. What's a three? Uh, three. Uh, the nearest visible unit to a random nexus rolls d6 on the trauma table. Yikes. <laughs> we didn't need it. We, we skipped it. It's fine. I'm just okay. curious as to what the other options might have been. All right, so it's initiative. We have to remove all exhausted tokens, and then it's round three. Let's see who's got the initiative for round three. Round three. And try three. again. I got a four. Four. Stop yeah. that. <laughs> no, you stop that. I got a six. Yeah. What? All right. All right. Throwing, <laughs> throwing, throwing things down <laughs> with authority this time. Um, I can't kill it until I kill this nexus, so... I think I start with the nursemaid. I think I start with the with him actually. He's gonna take a shot into the uh, what should we call it? Into the um, the next. Four. We hit, so it's one save, four plus. Saves. Ugh, try again with the free shot. Nope, misses, but precision. No, and then I get to activate a dude. <sighs> My cloak's not active yet, so I don't want to go with him. So I think I go with the guy in melee with you over here. We're gonna go with him. And he's gonna rush back into your, yeah, your friendo. Make an attack. Okay. On fives. He does not. Make another attack. And make another attack. Ow. Yeah. And so one damage into your Oops. Paladini. Oh. And that's on the shock table. Yeah, for you. Get the giant robot. 11? 11, 11, 11, 11. 11. Save with tough. Ah, nope. I still, <laughs> still got hit. So 11 is uh, savior, an ally. The unit has line of sight to makes a free move. Right here. Okay. Stop right there. I'll save you, buddy. Third action. So he's all done. So put okay. exhausted on him. And then we're into your first activation. I need on uh, melee two with the weapon. One hit. One hit. That's one damage. Nope. Hey. hey. So what happens when the third one explodes? Third one explodes. Rolls d6 on the trauma table twice, keeping the highest result. Oh no! This is just oh. the highest for the trauma table. What happens to your boss? A, a six. six. <laughs> um, the victim explodes in a bloody mess. No, just, for real? Yeah, he just poof, <laughs> just gone. You put <laughs> yourself in the gears, and they just chew you to pieces. Stop the gears! Everyone, oh, oh my Jesus. gosh! Like that War Amps commercial. Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was the the one with um, the robot from Planet Danger. Oh I man! I can put my irons back on. You can't. It's yeah. a place safe. Turn short. Yeah, you yeah, can activate a guy now. Okay. Um... I mean, you could just get me back by immediately going with this I, thing. No, no, no. I want oh, that thing dead. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Kill the world. Um, when these guys are done. We just want to, we just want to worship it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to move in and make an attack on you. Okay. Uh, M2 times one, nothing. And next one. And nothing. All right. Well, we're, we're going to go over here. My first move action is going to be over to this thing. And then we're going to unleash the anomalies. <laughs> I roll a five plus is the question here. Ha! I can't. I take four damage. So four or five plus saves for my anomaly. No. And shock 10. Let's turn the shock table. Last guess. Perform a free action. I guess that's me. I'll just do it again. On a five. 
Ah, it takes yeah. six damage, Cataphractus. Yeah, boy. Oh. On threes. Yeah. And it one takes kills anyway. one. And then it has to roll on the shock table. Uh, roll snake eyes. 11. Oh, Ooh, that should be good. An ally of the unit has line of sight to uh, makes a free move. So this guy? Yep. And it would be towards the nearest thing. Last action. I can do it one more time. Because uh, that one was free. On a five. <laughs> no, nope. I take one damage. Five plus eight. No, he's not going to suck. Uh, what happens to me? A 10. Uh, perform a free action. That's it, last gasp. I hit it again for six damage. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Just a, just It's just lasers coming out of it the whole time <laughs> while it slowly maybe explodes. Uh, it fails. Right there anyway. yep. So a shock test for the cataphractus. Five. Five. Uh, Throne, move directly away from the attacker. All right, it's so Board edge. Just stops. He's now exhausted. I got to pick a guy to go. So I'm going to pick, I guess, the one that's in melee with my watcher. Come over here and fight. Fives. Oh, go for it. Two decks. And again. Nope. nope. No. Nothing. Uh, something we forgot is. Anytime you roll uh, doubles on the shock table, you're automatically downed. Okay. If you roll doubles at all, you're automatically just taken out of action. <laughs> we'll know for the next game. Yeah, which is funny because that means you can't actually roll two and 12. Uh, that yeah, makes sense. Okay. It makes, now, okay. some, of the, some of the results make more sense now, like two and 12 make more sense because they don't really involve you uh, as much. So that's him done. And it is your activation. Into combat, Shooting take combat. a crossbow shot with your yep. bold adventurer. Two attacks because he's readied. He sure is. Uh, Miss. I thought you got plus one to get to you. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, my, my leader's gone. gone. Remember, leader's long, that's right. Yeah, yeah. He's gone. Uh, then he's going to make his free move action to come around to here or come around. Yeah. Move back. Another free action. I mean, you here. could pick the kill off me if I just downed him, right? So there's no point in not going to see where the bad guy is. That's true. Huh. Oh, makes up here. And that's done. The last, um, you've got a minion left, and the horror still ha gets to go as well. Okay. Well, okay, so the minion's gonna attack my nursemaid. Yep. Two attacks. On fives. Nothing. And Again. Next one. No. I'm gonna attempt to go with the boss. Uh, I'm gonna stab with my Kilimajig on a three. I do. Uh -huh. uh, two, three damage with the lethal probe. It passes. Pass it I'll try one more time. I missed. We'll run away like a hero. A three pass. Yep. Oh, it, I auto pass though because it's my yep. first move. So I'm gonna go back to I think here. Cloak engages, uh, and then I choose the last of these jabronis to go, and he's gonna come fight me. So get him on the five. Hits. All right, he's gonna make a save. He passes again. Another turn. Let's go with um, him up here, whole arm guy. Okay, gonna try and stab his unkillable Two cultists. Yeah. Two attacks because it's. One hits. And then it's one damage. I think it's one damage or two damage. Well, he rolls a six and passes. All right. Two damage, he has to roll again. Is it two? Oh, well, you weren't activated, so you don't I won't activate it, yeah. Uh, he fails the second one, and then you get to roll on the shock table. Shock table. Come on. On doubles. Eight. eight. I think eight is fight back. Make a free attack against targeting your attacker. On fives, it misses. Um, yep, actually it's M1 times two if it's if I'm readied. Yep. Okay. That hits on the four plus. And then and it's uh, times two, so two. Fails. Okay. And then shock roll. Eight again. Eight again. Fights back. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> the hardest time with these things. <laughs> things just will not uh, stop. Well, no, he gets to go now because he gets activated by a guy. Okay. Uh, move towards the closest visible enemy. Yep. Right there. Roar. Stabs. I think it's times two times five. Times so two times, times two five. Dice and then five damage. Quality three. Hits. Hits. Right. I got two plus saves because of my cloak. Come on, cloak. Oh, God damn it. Uh, all right, roll on the shock table for me. Uh, uh, not a eight. double. Fight back. There you go. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, again, on three, I hit, and then it's times three damage with the lethal probulator. Down. Fifth. And then shock roll. What do I, I get? Take him out. Take him out. Six. six. What is six? Target friend or foe. He attacks me again. Yep. Hits. Hits, and then two plus save times five. Just freaking first out here. I passed this time. Oh, he has made one of his attacks. So you can make one more, because the first second was free from the damage roll. Is it? Okay. Yep. And we've counted that free attacks don't go towards your limit. Hit me again. There we go. Five plus, or five, two pluses. Nope. And then shock roll. 
10. Ten. Uh, gas. Perform a free action. All right. Let's hit him again. Missed. Yes. All kinds of finished. And it's back to me. The nurse maid's going to stab one of these guys because we need to start killing these cultists to get this victory condition. Lost times two. She misses. Uh, again. She hits this time. All right. And save. Nothing. Five. All right. Shock roll. Double. He's out. Killed one. Finally. That's been happening a couple times this game. We just missed it. Um, so she has a third action. She's going to move, and it's her first move, so she's just going to rip over here. So he's going to fire a crossbow bolt into closest one. Yes. Get him. Two rolls. Hits. Ah, yeah, hits. All right. Uh, damage? I think it's damage one. He doesn't oh, roll. damage two. Damage two. Didn't matter. Didn't roll five. Roll your shock test. All right. Seven. Seven downed. Nice. So which one? Which one did you pick? Let's get her. Put him down. Actions left. Um, he's gonna stay where he is. Okay. He has no melee. <laughs> What's no melee to activate. Well, then I'm going to stab that guy on the ground. Just give him, a, give him the boots, medium style. I only get one attack on a five though. Yep. But if you wound him. Nope. And then another one. Nope. Pick off an auto pass and be like, see ya. I got the blaster. Guy. That's Go for a quality five. Yep. Five plus. It's uh times two. Get the blaster. Yep. Nothing. Move. Uh, he doesn't want to move. Okay. Oh, I round. Move. I don't know. No, I just want to move. Yeah. He <laughs> he exhaust no the muckers come off. That's round four. Can we not kill this thing? Okay. Initiative roll for round four. Let's see who is going first. Three. Again. Why, why every time? I don't know. Like... So far. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can blow up myself with my anomaly again. I'm just going to freaking zap this thing in line of fire. Boots. Nope. I take two damage. Two five plus saves. I pass them both. Second action, I try it again. Six damage. Make six armor rolls. Go for it, big guy. First one. He fails. fails. All right. right. And then shock test. Doubles. Ah, he's there out. he goes. And I accomplished one of my things because I get to exercise it. A minion killed it while I was in base contact. I activate a dude. Uh, I choose to activate the downed guy and see if he gets up on a five. Five plus. Nope. Action left, too. I guess I'm going to move him. I'll just move him over. Meow. And then he can try again to recover. He gets up. And his last action, he'll just make his free move towards, I don't know who's the closest. Probably, probably that guy. Okay. Whoop. I would say he gets to the top of the hill though, because it's probably more than one move because it's changing trains. Okay. Top of four. Okay. Uh, whoever kills, we have to kill two, because there's one dead cultist. Yep. But you got on turn three, actually. That's the, for the conflict, it's turn three. And then turn three, who kills most? Oh, then I've got that. Then the game's over. Yep. And that's it. As soon as he dies, the, the game's just done. The end of this there round. There you go. Not the end of the turn, but like, he, yep. uh, as soon as it's, if it's the most the end of round three, then yes, having one would have done it because I did it last round, didn't I? With a double. The other cultist is down there because they are kind of scared. Kill him off. All right, let's do this. I'm ready. So I have two shots. One hit. So that's two damage. Two damage. On fives. Nope. nope. He fails. Shock test. Four. Ah. He gets a free move or attack. Probably closest towards me. You're the attacker. But yeah, the the attacker, the attacker gets a free move. Oh, yeah, or so attack. You, yeah, so you can move again. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of sight. Yeah, see ya. Uh, you can't, you can't yep, see again. ya. There we go. Why That's it. Another action. Uh, he's going to stay where he is. Just hiding. Um, and then they can choose a guy. Be him, I think, I want to choose. Sure. Is he closer to you or to me? I think to me now. Come fight the hoodoo. Fives, action two. Nope. Nothing. Action three, two dice on fives. Got uh -huh. that. Time. All right, that's damage two, one or two. Damage one. Okay. Nope. And roll your shock test. Five. five. Uh, throw moves directly away from the attacker. So I go flying into the. It's back to me. I think we go with the nursemaid. She's just going to walk over and stab this guy. Walk two to stab. I hit. And then uh, it's damage one. Damage Those one. Claws, yeah. Nope. Fails. Shock test. Seven. Downed. It is just down. Yep. All right. And then her third action, or she'll just attack again on fours. She does. So nice. another, another save. On five. He's yep. He's down. So he's finished. Minions. He'll come running over here and fight me on fives. Nope. And again. Yep. All right. On four plus to save. Nope. She fails. Roll shock test. Not nurse right now. Dead. Oh, no. oh, takes her out. I guess the boss goes. Oh, no, it's over to you. My turn. It's your turn. Yep. Uh, Kill that worshiper. Sweet four plus. Nope. Again. 
Ah! So it's four damage. It's, fine. So it's double damage because he just yeah. activated. Yeah. Uh, he almost passes, oh, but it doesn't. So shock test. Down. Down. And then all you have to do is hit him now with your second one, and if he fails to save, he's out. Nope. Don't mean to go. Um, this, this guy left right here. Yeah, he has to try and recover on a five. He Sides does, up. and then he punches you. You knock him over. This endless fight between these guys. <laughs> I know, funny. right? On fives. Nope. nope. And, and one last side. one. Boss. Go eat this guy. All right, so it's one, two to get in there because I couldn't item move around the fountain. Uh, three to fight. I hit times three damage. Woo. And shock roll. Eight. Eight. Uh, fight back. Make a free attack targeting your attacker. All right, he fights me on fives. Nope, nothing. And then there's no one to activate left, so it's just back nope. to you. Dude here. He's, He's going to take a turn. shot at him. Do it. Nope, nothing. He's just going to run. Free move action up to here. And then take another free mat or another action. Four, five. Nope, he stays where he is. Okay. That's it. Uh, I guess my last one to go is going to be him because he can just shoot. And shooting into combat, he hits. So one save on a five. And then shock test. Dead. Dead. Bunker down. And be like, I'm, I'm all, I'm all good. I like this building. <laughs> I got thrown off the top of this building. I'm gonna stay down here. Now. Your last rifleman. I'm gonna kill one of my guys. Uh, Don't yeah. you get bonuses for it? Possibly. If I take out your whole war band, I get bonuses for it. Oh, okay. And well, I mean, I mean it'd be just me in the general like campaign sequence. Yep. I'm just gonna shoot this guy up here. Why not? Go for it. Hey, it's two sure damage. Uh, so it's on fives. Fails. And then shock roll. Eight. Eight. I I just fight back. fight back. Yeah, see, so does nothing. I'm not going to do anything with either of these guys, so I'll just sit. Uh, and if you That's... are not going to do anything either, I think I we're done. Else. That's it, yeah. And around four. Okay, so um, I won the conflict and the <laughs> horror encounter. And let's see what the post game looks like. All right. First, the casualty table. Let's roll a d6 and see what happens to first the anomaly that blew itself up in the very first activation. Three. MIA, your warband can, must continue this unit in the next battle, but enemy to deploy them anywhere on the board out of line of sight. So you basically get to deploy him for me <laughs> next turn. And then the nurse made five, lost. If the miniature is used in the next battle, they deploy it from a random table edge and start in the second round. It appears under a pile of weird cultists. <laughs> your warband leader? Six, uh, luckily enough. Uh, they totally have fine. a gruesome injury to show off, but they don't die though. They're Sweet. scarred. Oh yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay, cool. It's That's their version of full recovery. Okay. Doomed in full recovery is, you got ugly. Warband gains a point of prestige whenever they take out a horror or win a conflict. So my warband's gonna get two points of prestige. The took out the horror can now purchase items from the horror's rewards list. The warband that won the conflict can now purchase things from the conflict's rewards list. So basically I can buy stuff from those two sections. As he rolls, all warbands present earn one renown when at least in one nexus is destroyed, all were destroyed and the horns taken out. So we get three renown. Check off any uh, ambitions that are completed. The most ambitions completed, the better the position of warband in the climax. So, so far I've got one ambition and you've got another one. I have an ambition completed. Which yeah. one did you get? End a battle with all your quality four units still standing, which is he's my only quality four unit. Perfect. I'm going to buy the instinct augment from the cataphractals uh, buy list. It's only one point, but Whenever I make free actions, they're on quality two plus. Two renown in the bank. Do I want anything off the conflict list? And the conflict was worshiper. Also recruit a follower. Um, this is a worshiper who's been converted to our cause now. Um, they have their fevered attack, which is the times two damage and their times, sorry, times two to hit and then times two damage if they have um, the leader in line of sight. Now with uh, this guy MIA and the keeper, like the nursemaid lost, um, it's gonna be good to have an extra model to start the game with because everybody else is gonna kind of be randomly deployed. This is all my renown. What'd you spend your renown on? I bought uh, blades for both my legionnaires. So it's uh, M2 times one. Okay. Uh, so so it gets a melee attack. They have an so. actual melee attack. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Perfect. Doomed. Right. We did doomed. We did a doomed. We did a doomed. We did a doomed. Uh, we got it mostly right, I think, by the end because we picked up on little things like the doubles being kills. Yep. Um, free and automatic not being the same thing for actions. So like you pass your first move automatically, but then free actions are on top of other actions. Um, what else did we pick up mid game? Uh, I think the rolling doubles is the biggest one. I think. Mm -hmm. I think we forgot a couple times for the monster action at the end of the turn. Yep. Yeah, we definitely did that. We did. I think we got it maybe <laughs> twice and been not, but not very many times um, for the horror. And I'm trying to think of what else. I think that's really it. 
because we had a hard time killing almost anything yep. uh, without remembering the doubles thing. It became a lot more like, oh, all the doubles kill, but and also you get these additional effects usually if you roll a double. That's a lot more. That's a lot more lethal than I felt it was for a minute. <laughs> like it felt kind of like we weren't killing anything for a while, and then we just offed everything that we did end up offing with doubles anyway. Having more than one weapon feels like it's important. Yes, because most of the guys just had range attacks. I really couldn't do any melee attacks. Mm -hmm. So that's why for the next game, I bought a couple of blades for my uh, legionnaires. That's right. So at least they can get into melee. And if someone too. charges them, because a lot of like the minions and stuff were all chargey. Oh, yeah. Then they can actually fight back and not just be stuck in combat. Uh, what else? Yeah, it was pretty lethal. The de like when you lose a guy, that damage table is scary. <laughs> Very scary. Like uh, half my guys got lost at the end of the game, and the best you came out with was you now you ain't pretty no more. <laughs> I ain't pretty no my judge ain't no pretty judge. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, so we talked about how we're gonna do the next episode, and what we're gonna plan on doing because when you when you generate your scenarios, typically first you roll for what doom we're under, we're maintaining under. Yep. Um, then we have to roll for what the. Um, Horror what is. the horror well if we're gonna have a horror a conflict or both right and so what we decided on is instead of like just working it amongst ourselves we're going to generate it randomly and it's one two will be a horror three four will be a conflict five six is both yep and then and then that's how we'll then we'll we'll, we'll like randomly generate it at the beginning of every episode from then on um i hired a cultist and found a cool little like like twitchy thing that makes me uh plus one of my reaction attacks so if i get any free actions they're on quality two plus now which is pretty nice. cool uh, and you managed to get sidearms for everybody, so yep, nobody died. Swords, nor died. My leader came out on top, so it's all good. Also, you did remind me that this game has the rule where if your leader dies, one of your minions dies for them instead. Yep. Which seems like the most Ash game rule ever. <laughs> where it's like, you can't possibly screw this up, buddy. It's like, I'll, I'll lose all my guys first, and then my leader will die. <laughs> we'll be well it it leaders happen. left, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll, don't worry. The game's always trying to get me. I'm, I'm always on the run from the game. So I enjoyed that. That was really fun. The train was really fun to play with. It was great to get out old models again and have like a weird post-apocalyptic thing. And I like the idea that we're fighting through a world that's ending. Yes. Like we are actively chasing it, like ch running from whatever the dooms are that are coming. And I'm two progression points towards my climactic final battle now as well. Yep. Um, so yeah, so we'll see you next week for another one of these. Uh, and we will randomly generate our, our bad guys at the very beginning and what our doom is going to be. So tune back next week. Thanks for coming in. Yep. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching guys. Bye everybody.